Hello, it's Jess here from nigeza.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. Um, today I am bringing you a card sketch challenge which I set uh, on Wednesday over at Stamping for All. And this is the card sketch that I set. And, um, and I'm going to show you how I made the card, um, well, one of the cards that I've put on there. So this is the this is the first card that I've made. The second card I'm going to make now um, with you. Um, so um, you might be able to tell there I've used the new uh, rectangle stitched uh, framelits, um, which is why I chose that card sketch because I wanted an excuse to use it and I thought that worked really well. So you get 13 um, of these uh, nesting stitched uh, rectangles so I've taken the largest that I'm going to use and the next largest and then I've counted down to use the uh, one two three four the fifth and the sixth there and then I've taken the smallest one from there so those are the ones that I'm using for this so you get of this sort of uh, card based um, size you get one two three four five six seven you get eight uh, of these and then you get four that are good for uh, putting sentiments and then you get this this one on its own which is also really good for sentiments okay so fabulous fabulous set so oh, it's so excited so excited now what I'm going to show you on here it's a bit sad in it when you're excited about a piece of metal but I am um, so what I did so this uh, checkered um, piece of DSP is cut using this die now if you see on the die you've got like two rows of stitching but you only get one coming out on what you've cut out now if you see the frame around it it's got stitching on both sides and that's what you get when you cut the two out together because this you get you get the stitching then showing on both sides now I'll show you that when I do it because um, uh, it's easier to show that way so what I'm using for this one so I'm going to use the gingham gala uh, DSP and I'm going to use the number nine twist for this so it looks completely different and I'll be using our organdy ribbon I'll be using a bit of lemon line twist um, in that so I've got a standard piece of cardstock so half half a A4 uh, cut in half scored in half now these rectangles are designed to mat with the American size standard size paper now so that means that we have a bigger margin at the top and the bottom with it it's not too bad on the sides and you could cut your card down if you wanted but I actually don't mind it like that I think that's quite cool I'm quite happy with that so that's my my card blank so I'm gonna cut um, out of I, think, I keep thinking I've got two bits of DSP there it's obviously just thick in it uh, so I'm gonna cut out of this DSP I'm gonna cut that one um, that one and I can get them both out of, of the same piece but I want this one out of the reverse so I'm not going to cut them together well I could cut them together if I cut that down there but I'm not going to do that so I'm going to cut that out reverse it and then cut that one meanwhile I'm going to take a bit of whisper white and I'm going to form that frame that same frame that's around there so to do that I'll obviously cut this down you're gonna put these down together I've got a magnetic plate and run it through like that so that I get that frame bit cut out and then that bit that cuts out in the middle, I'm probably going to use that for the inside of the card because I'd normally put 
a wisp of white on the inside and I thought oh that might look nice a bit of stitchy it will look lovely so that's my idea there and then I'm going to cut um, another frame using these two so that I frame this smaller piece of DSP that I'm going to cut out. So I'm going to cut those all out and come back to you. So they're all cut out and as you can see um, on here that that's cut out so we've got stitching on both sides to form the frame and then that's going to be spare. Um, and then this one You might find that you have to, I had to um, put this through slightly diagonally to get that last bit. And I shall just take a pair of snips and snip that off. Not that I can find me, oh there's my snips. I didn't notice that that had caught, I would, um, or rather not caught. I'd have put it through again if I'd noticed. Oh, I'm done. Can be trimmed off. That's fine. So that's that's the frame there, and then that piece I can use in the centre of the card. And then I cut one through this way, and then I turned it around to get the inside piece. So that's layers up like so. So on the card, I'm going to put that in the centre for writing on. That's quite a nice effect, I think. And on the outside, we've got that as a frame. And then that will go on the inside of the frame. So you've got that doubling up of stitching, which I think is a nicer effect than just layering one on top of the other. Um, if you take, if you'd have just layered that up there, then you don't get the effect that it's a frame. And that's the effect I wanted. So that is gonna go like so. We are going to, if we look at our card sketch, I'm going to run the ribbon, um, not behind this one, I'm going to run the ribbon in front of this, that's going to be uh, sentiment. And I'm going to put it around the gingham, not the frame, so we just want a bit of this, cut it about there. Love this ribbon. Love that it all matches. Don't need that piece. What we need is um, something for our sentiment. And so I'm using the vertical sayings uh, for this one. I'm going to do a thank you card, um, just like the other one. I use an awful lot of thank you cards. So, yeah. So I am going to just, I've just realised I haven't got my lemon lime twist in. Not surprising. Get everything ready, I always miss some it. So I'm gonna do thank you over there. Let's do it again on the other side. That one very good. Might need to re-ink this. And then I shall run that through the big shot and it will just cut that out beautifully. It fits perfect. Okay. Oh, do you know, some days. Right, so let's get this. I'm going to put that over there ready to run through. Let's get this. Um, stuck down. So I'm going to use the cocktail stick and glue trick. Uh, so 
got a little thing here. Bought this for supposed to make an impression on toast. It's a bit rubbish. But it gives me something with a handle, sticks out on my desk so I can find it. And so therefore it's perfect for putting my glue on. It's just that with this being such a small surface, I thought cocktail stick was probably the best way to not stick too much on. Although you could probably run a bead of Tombow down there quite happily. I didn't want it to mess up. I might speed this up because this might be boring. And so now, I'll take that out for the moment, I'm going to stick this in place. So we've got a bit of a margin at the top and at the bottom. So that's my frame. And then we're going to take, that's going to go in there, but before we do that, I want to stick this around. I'm going to see where this is fitting. Yep, we'll put it around there. there. Get it out. Got some fast fuse handy. Fast fuse here, I'm just going to use it. And then that is just going to slip exactly inside that frame. Do the same to stick that on top there. So what I might do is stick this one down first. This is how I did it in the first place. Well I didn't do this frame but the outside frame was I stuck this bit on first. Let me move that slightly. And then this just makes it pop, I think, a bit better. So let's have a little try with this. I'm just afraid of it oozing too much. There, giving you the different options. Let's see if it oozes everywhere. I know my original instinct was correct and then that just fits around it perfectly like so so I just do um, I'll stick that on the inside and then I'll get the die cutting done to finish it off
could use a bigger one if you wanted. I just happen to have that and I think that works well. So I'll just get that piece of die cutting done. So I've die cutted this. And then you, you can see what I mean is on the bits that are left behind, you can see where the stitching is uh, around it. So that's another little effect that you could get with this. But there we've got a nice, and I've done that sometimes with the um, stitched um, shapes um, that we have um, as well. Uh, so I'm just going to use this edge because you can move your square one along to form a rectangle and I've done that before. So I'm popping this one up. We don't need the whole of that strip but it's there. And the sketch does have this not being central and having it a little bit over to the side so I think I shall do that and I think it would have been better if the ribbon had come in front of that actually so I might put a bow why not it was free so let's let's stick a bow in there fingers are a bit sticky and we're going to put a little bit more And then we just need a glue dot to stick that in place. I have got some glue dots at the side here. And I'm going to put that on the edge there. There we have it. So that's the two different interpretations of that card sketch this one using extra thick whisper white so it didn't need anything in the middle and that one having a little um, white card in the middle so there we have it so that is the new stitched rectangles I love them okay hope you like that hope you pop over to stamping for all and um, have a go at the card sketch and the other challenges there's always a every Wednesday it's a, a, a friendly little sort of inspirational challenge of doing um, a colour challenge, a sketch colour challenge, something like that. And every Monday is a, a design team challenge um, that's set by one of the design team. And, um, and you get the opportunity of um, having the card that you make feature on one of the design team's uh, blogs. Um, the... Uh, at the, you know at the weekend after the after the Monday so um, it's nice it's a bit of fun and it's lovely to get some inspiration from lots of people okay if you want some details and some more uh, close-up looks at the cars it'll be over on my blog nojezza.co.uk thank you for joining me hope to see you again soon don't forget to like and subscribe and press the bell and then you'll get informed of every time I upload okay thank you